Hey what's going on guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial in today's video I'll show you how to create this kind of full screen menu using Elementor by the way for this tutorial I'm going to use Elementor Pro version so if you still did not get Elementor Pro I'll leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there and if you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial let me know in the comment section so I will make more tutorial like this. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. First I'm going to create the full screen menu area and for that I'm going to create a pop-up from Elementor Pro. So going to dashboard and from templates, here is options for pop-ups. And from here, going to add new and here we can type any name our pop-up name is menu and going to create template and from here we can see different kind of pre-made layout for pop-up so we can select any one from here if you like for this layout i'm going to create a full screen menu from scratch so i'm crossing it and from here i'm going to create our layout from scratch so going to add new section and here i'm taking a to column structure and now before going to start our designing here I'm going to make our pop-up area to the full screen so for that from the very bottom left corner here is the settings and when you click on the settings icon we can see here is showing the pop-up settings so it will work for the whole pop-up area and now we can see here is the width we can set the width to full screen so for that here is the options VW and I'm making it to 100 so now it's taking the full width and also here is the height fit to content or we can set it to fit to screen and now for this section I'm going here and going to add a background color so going to style tab and background type this time I'm going to add a gradient color for our background so going to gradient and background color for the first color i'm selecting the dark blue color and also for the second color i'm selecting the same color and now from here i'm changing the color to very similar and now the location for the first one i'm setting it to 50 and also for the second one i'm setting it to 50 and then angle we can make it to 90 and now if we set the height to full screen for this section going to layout and height if I set it to mean height so we can see our color is now showing 50% dark color and for the 50% showing the different color and now for the second column I'm going to add our menu so here I have created two types of menu I'm going to add our menu first and here is our nav menu on the right side I'm taking a long menu so if I check from the menu list here I have created two menu one is the shop menu and another is the long menu so I'm selecting this one and layout by default this is horizontal I'm selecting it to vertical and pointer underline so when we hover over any menu we can see here is a pointer we can make it to off and now also changing the menu color so going to style tab and the text color making it to white and the typography i'm also changing the font family to poppins and the font size I'm setting 16 pixel or you can set it to 17 and font weight making it to normal and text transform to uppercase and also we can add letter spacing 1 and now for this column I'm going to add some padding in the left side so going to this column and from advanced from padding first making it to unlink and for the left side I'm adding 80 pixel and also for top and bottom I'm adding 50 
and here I'm also making the section height to the full screen so going to edit section from layout height we can set it to fit to screen and now for the left side I'm going to copy the menu first copy and paste and this time I'm going to change the menu to a different one so this time I'm selecting the shop so here I have added three menu item only so here you can add less item and which is more important for this website and now this time I'm going to increase the font size so going to style tab and typography I'm changing the font size to 35 or 30 and also for the column we can add some padding in the left so this time I'm going to copy the style for the second from the second one it's difficult to select so I'm going to right click and going to navigator and from this column going to copy and now for the first one going to paste style and here I'm also going to add our logo so for that again going here and searching for logo I'm taking this one and the alignment setting it to the left side and here we can set the alignment in the same line so here we can add some padding in the left side for the logo going to advance and for padding making it to unlink for left side adding 20 all right so now looks good and in the very bottom I'm going to add some social link so again going here and now searching for social changing the alignment to left and going to style tab the color making it to custom and for the primary color I'm making it to transparent and here we can also change the icon size I'm making it to 18 and now for this icon we can also add some padding to make in the same line so going to add fonts and for padding first making it to unlink and for the left adding 10 pixel or 15 and for the top I'm also going to add some padding so for top adding 50 yeah looks good and here we can add more social icons and also going to add some spacing between this logo and menu so going here from advanced making it to unlink for bottom adding 30 yeah looks good and also for the socials I think we can increase the size so going to style tab and size 20 looks good and finally I'm checking the responsive view so going here going to tablet and here you can see the menu is showing in the mobile menu view so I'm going to make it off so going here again and going to content and here is the breakpoint so I'm making it to off and now it's showing the full screen and also on the right side going to content and from breakdown I'm making it to none and here we can decrease the font size going to style tab and typography we can set the font size to 15 or 14 and also from the left side going to style tab and typography we can set it to 25 or 22 and for logo I'm going here and from style tab we can set the width to 50% or 60 percent and from here we can select the percent of pixel or VW and here we need to fix the section height so for that again going to the edit section and height if we go to the default and now you can see it's working fine and now here we can set the alignment to vertically center so going to edit column and vertical align making it to middle and now finally going to the phone view so for phone it's looking good you can keep it as it is 
and now finally going back to the desktop and also for the column set the vertical align to middle for desktop and finally going to publish here we will find more options but this time we can only go ahead with the add condition and by default it's working for entire page and now I'm not going for the next step and simply going to save and close so our pop-up area or full screen menu area is done and here is much more flexibility so you can customize or design your own design as you want and now for the next step I'm going again here and now for the header area I need to remove the default menu and here I'm going to add a mobile menu icon and then we we'll link our pop-up with that icon so for that again I'm going to the dashboard for this website I used the Elementor Pro and also the header area I created this header area in a custom way so from the dashboard if I go to the templates and theme builder here is our header and now if I go to edit with Elementor and now on the right side it's showing the default menu so I'm going to delete the menu and now on the right side I'm going to add a icon so now searching for icon and here is the icon first changing this icon and here is the bar icon I'm taking this one going to insert and making the alignment to the right side and now first I'm going to the style tab and changing the color to white and also making it to a smaller size I'm making it to 30 and also here is some more options I'm going back to the content and now I'm going to add our pop-up with this icon so from the link here is the dynamic text and if I scroll down here is the pop-ups and now from the left side if I click on this icon here is action open pop-up and pop-up from here I may have tons of pop-up in my list so I have to search my pop-up using name so I created the pop-up named menu and here we can see the menu template and now if I save it and finally refresh our page and now you can see here is the hamburger icon and now if I click on this icon you can see our full screen menu is showing and finally here we need to do some finishing task like here on the right side we can see here is a close icon so I need to change the icon color and size and also you can add some animation for entrance and the exit so now again going to my pop-up design I'm crossing it and now from the left side going to settings and going to style tab here is the close button and from here I'm changing the color for this icon making it to white and now it's showing and also I'm changing the icon size I'm making it to 30 also fixing for the phone view for tablet looks good and for phone looks good for the desktop for this menu area we can also make it vertically center so for that going to edit column from layout vertical align I'm making it to middle and finally I'm going to add the animation with this pop-up so again going to the settings from the bottom left corner and here is the entrance animation I'm making it to fade in and also the exit animation fade out and also here is the duration for animation we can change the duration for now I'm saving it and now if I refresh again and now if I click so you can see our animation is working and here is our close icon so when I close it it's going very slowly so that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any WordPress project 
you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.